What's the good word, y'all? It's your boy DKB here. So one of our underrated uh, free agent signings that needs to be a priority um, has actually given us pretty good news. So Thomas Morstead, her punter, uh, he's been phenomenal since rejoining the Jets. Uh, keep in mind, I want to say two years ago, uh, we had him on the roster and he's looked every bit the part of uh, an elite veteran punter. Uh, now, given the struggles of our offense this year, I would say that magnifies the need even further, right? Um, it's been jokingly put out there, but you can significantly make a case to say that uh, Thomas Morstead has looked like a weapon for the New York Jets with his ability to not only uh, get a bit of hang time under his balls, but how he's been able to feel punts and pin opponents down within the five yard line uh, on multiple occasions. I mean, uh, that Giants game that we were able to come back and win, he single handedly, you know, led us to that victory, essentially outside of Zach Wilson's miracle, you know, um, minute plus drive uh, that he had to to get us in overtime to get the win. Um, so I do think that he's a critical person for us to bring back. And so hearing that he does have these same feelings uh, is great, right? There's been plenty of uh, uh, free agents that, you know, if given the opportunity right now, I think you'd see a, a, a significant portion of guys leave. Now, uh, what did he say exactly? Um, he mentioned, I'm really happy with where I'm at, and I know those Jets were happy with all that I bring to the team. Um, this isn't hyperbole in any manner, right? There were multiple occasions where Robert Sala made it a point to speak to um, how great of a job uh, Morstead has done. Um, we've seen, and I don't remember if this was the Giants game or another one, but uh, we've seen Morstead break down and speak to how much he loves uh, being in New York and kind of what it's meant to him with the trust uh, that Robert Sala and Bram Boyer have instilled in Thomas Morstead to be able to go out there and be aggressive and try to pin guys down at the five-yard line with the defense that we've assembled uh, and knowing that we were going to have challenges with Zach Wilson at the helm uh, for this New York Jets offense during the season. So um, outside of that, I'm not looking at options right now. I'm really hopeful to be back with the Jets, and I think the Jets are hopeful to have me back. Hopefully, we get something sorted out before free agency. And so uh, that's really what put it over the top for me, right? A lot of guys kind of want to test the water, see how things are going. Um, but I want to say Morstead has been in the league for somewhere in the realm of 15-plus years now. Um, but... You know, this isn't one of those situations where you want a veteran just for the purposes of consistency and having a veteran. He actually really showed out this season um, in what, uh, for as great as he was, my only knock is that he shouldn't have been in this much of a position, right? One of the things that were concerning for me is he had 99 punts on the season. That's tied for an all-time New York Jets record. That's ninth most punts by any player since 2005. Um, and, uh, you know, I want to say that led his career um, in uh, amount of punts that he's had so far. So uh, pretty ridiculous. Obviously, I think that'll be fixed uh, in wholesale by Aaron Rodgers returning. But 48.8 uh, yards per punt. Um, this was a ridiculous season uh, in terms of punters being able to put up some crazy numbers. So he didn't get inside of the top 10 um, and his net average only put him in the middle of the pack. But uh, there were some interesting t statistics that, of course, the New York Jets community uh, was able to help come up with. Um, in this regard, I'm talking about adjusted net punt percentage. Uh, you'll see AMPP uh, as the acronym for it. Uh, but basically, this measures... Um, it says this, uh, bah, 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 bah. this, let's back up. It says this seeks to account for field position and directional punting effects, um, versus, uh, you know, based on the raw numbers and not just what we're seeing, uh, on a stat sheet. Uh, most seasons you'll see a punter end up with an AMPP between 60 and 70, uh, as the general trend that they found. Um, and this works well as kind of like a, a, a good basic scale to just, you know, consider it a zero to 10 rating, right? Um, where basically if you're closer to 60, you're having a terrible performance. If you're closer to 70, you are elite borderline perfect, right? Um, and so based on that measurement, 
Thomas Morstead had a 69 grade for the season. So um, I think that does account for a lot of what you may not see in terms of him statistically leading the league uh, in a lot of categories. But I mean, if you just turn on the tape again, he single handedly kept us in games. He single handedly. Uh, I would say do more than flipping uh, flipping the field. The amount of times he's been able to pin an opponent at the five, uh, which has helped the Jets over the long term of a game, right? You want to think about, uh, let's say, an opponent consistently starts at like the 40-yard line. You start seeing that shift back and back and back to where their, their general starting uh, position now is within the 10 to 15-yard mark, which is in, extremely impressive. So... Nonetheless, uh, there are some concerns, right? He's 37 years old. Um, there was the situation towards the last part of the season where we did play some roster gymnastics with him. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, and I think this was in order to get Nick Baldwin back on the roster. Ended up not being a big deal, right? He went unclaimed. We were able to bring him back. Obviously, he was in on the plan uh, because there was some backlash and we felt the need to speak. Uh, he felt the need to speak up about it. Um, so there is that concern, right? You do still want to get younger, but there's also a world I can see where, uh, if you want to talk about making the most of your practice squad, you can take a look at this year's punter class, uh, see if you can fit somebody out, uh, on there and, you know, who knows? We, you know, we touched base with Matt Ariza at one point, the, the Bills, uh, defamed punter at one point, uh, with what he had going on. So obviously there's some fillers that we're putting out, uh, but I think it would be a prudent move for us to re-sign him nonetheless. So, uh, ultimately let me know what you guys think, uh, contractually wise, it shouldn't be a major deal whatsoever. He just came off a $1.16 million contract for the year with us. Um, I think he'll be perfectly fine staying within that same range uh, at best, maybe two to three million if it's something crazy, but I would assume it's gonna be incentive heavy. Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. I'll catch you again. Peace.